Hello and welcome back to Cool's Book Reviews. Since it's our first book review since our YouTube anniversary, we figured we would do something special to the group. And today we picked Kong Unmade, The Lost Films of Skull Island by John LeMay. So you might ask why is this special, blah blah blah. Well, we actually met John LeMay in Roswell, New Mexico at the UFO Fest. It's actually where we got this book. I got some other ones. Uh, we were walking around the convention center and of course huge fan of King Kong. Obviously we did the World of Kong review earlier on, uh, but I saw this, I saw the Jaws one, then I saw the Billy the Kid one I already had. And so we got to talking not just about Lincoln and the history of Billy the Kid, Pat Garrett, but also, you know, some of the monster books and monster movies. Uh, we had brought Jiggy as you saw in the picture and, you know, we were talking about dinosaurs as well. And so he was super nice, autographed all the books we got from him. And so I knew I wanted to review one of his books right away. And that was kind of a hard part, you know, deciding which one, be it the Jaws one, the Kong one, some of the paranormal ones I got, or the one more about like the Japanese monsters and the monster movies they make. And at the end of the day, it was Kong Unmade because, you know, King Kong got a lot of people into monster movies. And so let's talk about this book today. I don't want to ruin it too much. It's really good and I do recommend it. Uh, but we'll just kind of start off with the cover. And so at the top we see it obviously says John LeMay, who's the author. And down below it says Kong Unmade, The Lost Films of Skull Island. And I honestly really like this font and color. I think it pops really nicely with the black and white photo. Uh, here we do see a picture of the Lost Island, which ape suit looks fantastic, I think. Um, we go to the side, it says Bicep Books, Kong Unmade, and then LeMay right there. And then on the back, it kind of just goes over some different movies that will be coming up within this book. And you do learn a lot about the history of King Kong and then maybe some of the, you know, different movies or stories such as like The Lost World or Creation that really inspired or help kind of bring along the idea of King Kong. So overall the book is about 333 pages. Uh, there is a little bit more, but that's like bibliography and stuff like that. And for being the first book I've read with John LeMay, the writing style is really nice. It's very easy to read and pick up. And then the chapters, I think, are really brought together pretty nicely. As you can see, lots of pictures. There's some, you know, concept art, stills of movies that weren't released. Here's some more concept of, you know, the King Kong cartoon. As you can see, King Kong mini scrapbook is this entire section of just, you know, different concept art. And so there's some pretty cool stuff here, and you just kind of go through the history, even if the movie was made, so say like King Kong, King Kong 76, King Kong, you know, 2005, even going into, you know, Skull Island in the MonsterVerse, it talks about that, and you just get all this cool backstory, and even some concepts that were cut or lost along the way, and that's something I really enjoyed. Like I said in the introduction, we did meet him, and you can see he did sign it. Keegan, hope you enjoyed the book. I did, spoiler alert, and then signed it down below. And then again, another Kong artwork right here, pretty cool. So as you know, I always try to give some parts that I really enjoyed. So concept art is one of the parts I really, really enjoyed. Lots of cool stuff out there. Uh, but there's a little section here uh, that really, I honestly really laughed out loud when I read it. And it just says, Denim has a few amusing lines here like worrying that the audience will think it's just a guy in a suit. Which if you know us, we do tons of skits where Andrew goes around places. Uh, even before reading this, we had just gone up to Dinosaur Ridge here, and he was like, I think this Camarasaurus might be a guy in a suit, I'm not sure. And he's like, oh yep, that might be the zipper right there. So that made me laugh out loud. I will say chapter one, Creation, was another uh, section I really enjoyed, because this is a movie that really in the end kind of is why we have King Kong and you see the Resnotherium there which is too bad it was cut because that would have been really cool you see the Brontosaurus attack and then you see these Triceratops you know man the stop-motion claymation type of deal like it was so good and it's so nostalgic for me to watch that because I grew up watching these type of movies and so just to read about this and it honestly really gave us an idea of like, I wonder if we can make like 
something in like homage of the creation so stay tuned we might do that later on the channel I also really enjoyed the chapter about King Kong versus Frankenstein uh, because a lot of times you just see this picture in out of context and really without a lot of information it's like eh, it doesn't sound that intriguing but as you actually get into it and see what it had started from and where it was going it's almost really a bummer that it was not made like it sounds really really intriguing and who knows I mean with the way a monster verse goes you know will it be revived someday perhaps and so obviously the 33 Kong or I'm sure a lot of you like the 76 Kong or even the 2005 Kong are super nostalgic uh, but something that was entertaining was you know ape and I learned about a first from Brandon Tennell and his YouTube channel where he talks about some of these really intriguing B movies and you know everyone knows about the mighty Peking man and obviously we all know the different King Kong ones or King Kong lives King Kong vs Godzilla and so this one was just it's it's funny because you know obviously there's that the moment where it flips off the camera or, you know, the part definitely wouldn't be made today where it's fighting this clearly dead shark. And, man, you just wonder, like, some of these movies, like, that get made, it's just, like, it's fascinating. It's just, I think overall it's fascinating to see some of the legal stuff and back and forth and why maybe things weren't made. Or, you know, it's intriguing to even see, like, for people that maybe not know, Godzilla wasn't super big when Kong and Godzilla fought. You know, King Kong was still the bigger name, the more marquee name, and it's intriguing to see a lot of the Godzilla movies being titled around King Kong, even if King Kong didn't appear in it. And so I think that's something people will really enjoy. So overall, do I recommend this? Heck yes, I do recommend it. I think it was a super fun read. It was super entertaining the whole time, and I learned... A lot. I mean, there's some movies and some lost films I think a lot of people know about. And then there's other ones that you might not know about. I think it really just depends on your level of, like, passion for this type of movies. And I think even if you've delved super far down that rabbit hole, there might be some stuff you still learn. And I think it's definitely worth the read. I would say no less than a 9 out of 10. Like, 8 to 9 out of 10 is where I would rate this book. There was not a point where I was not excited to pick it up and read it. So that really makes me more excited to read the other books that I haven't read, like The Jaws Unmade, some of the paranormal ones he's done. Uh, I forget the name off the top of my head, but there's one with the, the Titanic and a UFO. And then he's also done some ones about dinosaurs. So I'm sure you stay tuned to the channel. We'll do some more, and who knows? I've done interviews before with authors like Max Hawthorne or Steve Alton. And so who knows, maybe this year's interviews will do some one with John LeMay. So definitely stay tuned. That would be really exciting for us and just dig into some more of this history with, you know, the monster movies and some of the early films. Or even some of those like cowboys and dinosaur stories. And of course, we'd have to talk Billy the Kid because it's like one of our channel's favorite topics. So like I said, I really enjoyed it. You can find this on Amazon. I'll put descriptions to... You know, any of John LeMay's pages to Instagram and, of course, Amazon. So go pick it up. I think it is worth a read. All right. So thank you guys for joining us. If you enjoyed this and want to see more Cools book reviews, click that link to your left. If you want to see more about what we're doing here at Cools Paranormal, click the link to your right. And don't forget to hit that like and give us a subscribe. And let us know, have you read any of the John LeMay books?